Auburn Tiger fans have had it. This title from Auburn Live reads, Make It Stop. The post reads, I really want to know how much money Alabama is throwing out. There is no way in hell that a coach who just came here four months ago, who isn't known to be a high recruiter, just starts absolutely dominating recruiting. This post comes following another commitment, a five-star commitment to Alabama from Dijon Lee. Out of California, the number one player in the overall state. Picked Alabama. Everybody went crazy. Alabama is absolutely on fire. They're calling it the coldest summer ever. And as you could see, there is eight commitments, including one five-star and seven four-star commitments. As we're making this video, A.K. Deer, who was committed to Ole Miss, just decommitted, and he's on commitment watch for Alabama as well. Comments about that original post read like this on Twitter. AC's dad says, Auburn also said Alabama was broke. Please pick a lane. Justin says, people really thought that Greg Byrne was going to replace Saban with a scrub who can't recruit. That's been the furthest thing from the truth. Auburn fans are clearly upset about recruiting, but what they're really mad about is they haven't beaten Alabama in football since 2019. Think about how much the world has changed since 2019. Think about this. Look how much college football has changed. Auburn has had one, two, three, four, five, five coaches, head football coaches, including Cadillac Williams, who was an interim coach, since 2019. Currently, their head football coach is Hugh Freeze, who at one point thought they were going to land Ryan Williams, the number one player from the state of Alabama. Okay, so they felt really good about him. Well, guess what happened? He reclassifies the number one player probably Alabama's had, right? He was a two-time Mr. Football Award winner. No one's ever done that. He decommits from Alabama the day that Coach Saban retires. And then Coach Kalen DeBoer comes, and he is able to make him commit and then eventually sign. He literally signed the day that Alabama beat Auburn in basketball, if I remember correctly. Ryan Williams is an absolute talent from L.A. For those of you out there, he's not from Los Angeles. L.A., if you live in Alabama, that is lower Alabama. Auburn fans clearly upset right now with Alabama football recruiting, Coach Kalen DeBoer coming in, but they are also mad about Alabama basketball. When I first arrived here, I covered Avery Johnson. Auburn pretty much ran the table. Since Nate Oates has been here, look at what he's been able to do. Alabama basketball now owns the state of Alabama on the hardwood as well. Look at the last couple of games between Alabama and Auburn, and look what Alabama has done in the transfer portal, and recruiting under Nate Oates. They just went to the Final Four. It's got to be ultra frustrating for Auburn to continue to see Alabama recruit at this high of a level. I'm not even sure that Alabama fans saw Coach Kalen DeBoer just stepping in in year one and making a run for the number one recruiting class in the class of 2025. This June has been fantastic for Alabama, and I think it's only going to get better. When I think about Auburn fans right now, this is probably how they're posted after Alabama lands another big-time commitment and another five-star. And then remember, one thing that we didn't even talk about is how the last football game ended between Alabama and Auburn with the fourth and 31, right? The miracle throw by Jalen Milrow. Hey, if you like this video and you like the content and you're an Alabama football fan, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate you guys being here. This June has been fantastic to cover Alabama football, and I appreciate you guys being here.